this is not news to anybody, but but a lot of people just stop doing it. They just get going with the daily routine and they'll they're not realizing people do respond to ongoing promotions. So you've got to keep doing them. You've got to keep doing the program. Keep it exciting. Keep it interesting. Hello, and you're with Aveline Clark on the Six Star Business Podcast, where we have conversations about what it takes to be six star as a six star leader in a six star business in a six star world. And in this episode of the podcast, my co-host is Corey Sebest, dialing in from Germany, and our guest is the wonderful Marco Torres from Florida, USA. What makes this a different slightly different episode is that we talk tactics almost tactics with the backdrop of human interaction psychology and human behavior whilst this is very much uh, Marco sharing all of the expertise he's got around his business and how that helps other businesses and what they can do with it it really does force us to think about what we are doing to market, promote, incentivize and add value to our customers. This is something that all business owners need to do. So I encourage you to sit back and listen to this one. Marco is delightful. He's got a lot to share and enjoy. All right, here we are. Welcome. It's another episode of the Six Star Business Podcast. Good to have you here with me today, Corey, as my co-host. How are you? Um, fantastic. Looking forward to Good. the <laughs> Excellent. And we've got Marco with us today. How are you, Marco? I'm doing great, Evelyn. Wonderful. Um, to get us going, I'd love to ask you a few questions that we always ask our guests so that our listeners can get to know who, who you are and us as well, because we don't know, you know who, you, who you really are, but that's why you're here. So if you could let us know where you are in the world. I am Who in, you, sir? Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be on your show. It's my pleasure thank to be you. here. I am uh, living in southwest Florida now, which is uh, south of Tampa, Florida, north of Fort Myers, in between that area there on the west coast. So uh, I'm here because I like to be boating, sailing. I've got uh, the main reason to be here is I've got a big dock in the back with several boats to pick from. So my passion when I'm not working is... Get out on the boat and go so and go pull around. Nice, that's beautiful. Uh, you kind of answered one of the questions I was going to ask you, but uh, which was, "What do you like to do when you're not working?" And you've kind of shared that, which is nice. Uh, I can, sure I can add to that. If I'm not if I'm not yeah. on the boat, if I'm not on the boat, then we're, the wife and I are uh, dancing. We're into ballroom dancing a little bit, taking lessons on that again, so we can sharpen our skills. <laughs> Tango, the waltz, and foxtrot, and so on and so forth. So we enjoy that, and uh, and in, uh, or boating, or fishing, or sailing, or one or the other. So, <laughs> oh, that's all awesome. wonderful. Thank you. So, please uh, tell us who do you serve, and how do you serve them? Well, I serve in a nutshell. I have a business called MarketingBoost.com, and what we do is we're a subscription model there where we help our business owners by giving them uh, the ability to give away an unlimited amount of three different types, three categories of incentives that we offer to help uh, our business owners that use our service add value to whatever their call to action is, whatever their offer is, add value with the travel and restaurant incentives that we offer. So for example, if I can quickly explain, there's three different categories. One is complimentary hotel stays, uh, from three night stays in uh, all over Australia, actually, all over Europe. Uh, we have about a dozen destinations in Australia. We've got a, a bunch all over uh, you know, Asia, Europe, in the United States. We have 30 different destinations, three night stays in most places, five night stays in places like Cancun, Mexico, seven night stays in places like Phuket, Thailand, and Bali. We have uh, so that's one of the categories of the uh, of the incentives we offer. The other is hotel savings cards that come in uh, increments of one hundred, two, three hundred, and five hundred dollars. These are cash credits. They work like a gift card, but they don't pay for the entire hotel stay. They end up 
buying down the price or discounting compared to the uh, online retailers and and bring down the price, you know, a discount from there. And then there's restaurant savings vouchers at over 100,000 outlets throughout the USA and Canada that can be used as well. And then as we go along today, we'll talk about how these incentives can be used to grow your business, close more high ticket sales, generate referrals, uh, solicit testimonials, even use them to solve customer service issues. I can give you a ton of examples of how we help business owners grow their business or or enhance their calls to action, build loyalty programs and more with the use of our travel incentives. So who specifically are the, the, your ideal or your, your target customers, your audience? They're, they're, yeah, good question. They're business owners, they're uh, uh, solopreneurs, multi-level network marketers, they're home-based businesses, they're direct salespeople, marketing managers. Um, they are, uh, uh, shoot, I've got uh, literally everything from candlestick makers to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of that old saying, but uh yeah, we we have we have helped literally, you know, uh, home improvement companies, solar panel sales companies, uh, roofers, uh, just about any industry. We haven't found a niche yet that that hasn't found it. We haven't been able to help them with our incentives to scale their business in one way or the other, or at least help them because our our subscription model is so affordable that. that if, if you don't mind me plugging the price, I mean, it's only 37 US dollars a month to be able to use an unlimited amount of those three different categories of incentives that I mentioned. So uh, they can be the key is and, and the thing that we teach and the way I serve clients to answer your question from earlier, it's regardless of whether you use marketing boost or not. The key is we teach our members to add value to their offers, add value to your call to action versus just discounting. Discounting is such an easy temptation that you want to be the lowest price on the block to try to draw or or bring in clients. And so we want to teach you to, you know, create your own value with your own products, your own widgets, your own added value that you might be able to plug into whatever your 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 sales uh, offer is, your unique sales proposition. Or you can use, you know, when you're, if you're subscribed to Marketing Boost, we'll show you how to use our incentives to add an additional value in addition to whatever you might add with your own stuff so that you can add, let's say, for example, your, your um, you know, you've got a subscription plan and you might say, hey, if you, if you sign up for 12 months and pay in advance, we'll give you the 13th month free plus a bonus of a complimentary hotel stay in Melbourne, or we'll give you, uh, you know, uh, a three night, you know, hotel stay in Las Vegas, Nevada, or, you know, obviously it depends upon where you are in the world. You would select some of the destinations that are relatively popular in your area and use those as your, what we call the wow factor. Or so we give you the ability to create a wow factor or a surprise and delight factor to enhance and stand out from the crowd, from your competitors, and be able to offer a the, our you know these bonuses, which right now are incredibly popular, because after all the COVID lockdowns and everything else, travel is right now is, is I call it revenge travel. People are back in full throttle, hoping to go somewhere, looking to book somewhere. They uh, if they haven't traveled yet, they're 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 ripe, you know, to want to go somewhere. So now is there's no better time to be adding these travel incentives as a bonus to whatever it is you do or, to, or as an added value to your call to action, which I can give you more examples as we as we talk this afternoon. Literally, as you, as you said, the, the tourism space is boosting right now, a revenge of the last two years. I saw also all the advertisements. Everybody is coming out with new advertisements here to, to promote every country around the globe. Uh, Marco, how did you... How did you get to marketing boost in the sense Absolutely. of what, what happened in life? Was it a coincidence? Is there a, a, a story behind it? So how did you create that company and, and took it from there? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, and it, it is a, uh, a good story because um, we've been in the travel space, my partners and I, 
since the, well, I've been in the travel space since 1993. So I've been around a long time and I've been an internet marketer since before, uh, uh, right about the time, the, what was his name? Al Gore invented the internet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Al Gore was the vice president of the U.S. Only an American would get that joke. But anyway, <laughs> but um, we, uh, I've been around the internet marketing. I was an email, email marketer in the night, in the mid nineties before Google, before Facebook and so on. But we've been in the travel space. And in the year 2009, 2010, my partners and I got together and we launched a travel business that was really booming quite well. And um, by the, as we got approached uh, 2015 or so, we needed video testimonials. We were trying to scratch our head with how can we get our clients to give us video reviews of the hotels and resorts that we were that we were marketing, and uh, we were scratching our heads, going, you know, we're asking people to go over and beyond just writing a testimonial or a written review to ask them to actually film a selfie video from the beach or the resort or what have you. So we came up with an idea, which was to offer them a bonus trip, give them a complimentary hotel stay. We started in the, offering them three nights. Most of our clients are U.S. based at the time. So we said, if you would give us. A, so here's what we did. And by the way, this tip I'm going to give you can be used by any business owner out there listening to me right now. This is a huge add value, what I call a value bomb that you can implement into your business immediately to, to help uh leverage your testimonials and create testimonials. We all need a hell of a bunch of reviews to keep up with uh, with what, you know, your competitors. And and so here's what we did. We did a survey the day after people checked into the hotel when we expected them to be at the peak of their happiness. So this is what you would do, you know, whatever your product or services, whenever you expect that you've completed them, that they should be the happiest, boom, send them an automated email and text message. And that's the other tip you should be, you should have automation in place. But when they uh, received, we did a survey and we would ask them, hey, how's the hotel living up to your expectation? How has our service uh, lived up to your expectation so far? Rate us, please, on a scale of one to five. How do we fit in? And if they responded with a four or five, our artificial intelligence automation would kick in and we'd send them an email and, auto and text message immediately back saying, Wonderful. We're thrilled that you're having a wonderful time and you're enjoying the resort. Would you please help us do us a huge favor and help us spread the word about this resort brand? And if you would film a selfie video from your favorite part of the hotel, the beach, the pool, the bar, the restaurant, and if you would brag about that hotel brand and our brand, we will reward you with a bonus complimentary hotel stay on us. Three nights in your choice of Las Vegas or Orlando, Florida. And that took off. Before we knew it, we had, you know, dozens of these videos coming in and then hundreds of these videos coming in. We were putting them all over our website on landing pages and sales funnels. And, and people were, it was, we were, you know, doubling and tripling sales with the leveraging of these, of the social proof of video testimonials with people, all kinds of people, you know. And you, you can't beat video testimonials because, you know, they can tell they're not fake. You know, they're they're real people, skinny people, fat people, ugly people. It was pretty people. So it was like the whole mix, you know, and people could tell these were real, not just written reviews that, that you know, anybody could write or you could have written them yourself. And so uh, so anyway, that took off. And, and then a few months later, you know, as everybody started raising their hands saying, okay, we want that free trip you gave us. Well, now we had to start paying out of our pocket to give the way, you know, to to fulfill the free trips that we were used, that we offered to generate those testimonials. Now we were we were turning it into such additional revenue. It didn't matter if we had to pay for it ourselves. But we thought, wow, this is expensive. How can we reduce the cost of these hotel rooms that we're now having to fulfill? So we went back to our hotel partners and we said, you know what, you've got a problem that we can solve. We know that you've got, come on, you've got empty hotel rooms. We know that you, you know, yes, you fill up on certain weekends, you fill up for holidays, Christmas, New Year's, you fill up for, you know, special events, but 70% of the year, 30% of your rooms go unsold. So how about if you let us help you, we're the, you know, we're the marketing experts, help, let us help you fill those rooms with warm bodies that are going to spend money, couples, families, et cetera, they're going to spend money at the pool, the, I mean, the room service the bars, the casinos, the restaurants, the, uh, the, the guest shop, the, 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 I'm sorry, the gift shop, the spa, the uh, attraction desk and the excursion desk, 
And, you know, so a few of them agreed in Orlando and Las Vegas. We got a few to start with. And uh, and then now we were fulfilling our own complimentary trips that we were giving away. And we had the solution to fill those rooms without having to cost us a bunch of money. And then we thought to ourselves, can you imagine if we had dozens, if not hundreds of destinations like this? And we would talk more hotels into participating. That'd be a standalone business in itself. And so that's what we did. We went out and eventually we started out with about a, a dozen destinations. And we launched the company that at, at the time it was called AdvertisingBait.com. And that's because we were we were promoting ourselves as we're the bait, we're the hook, we're the we're the the the, the wow, you know, we're that the customer draw card to help bring clients in for your business. And um, uh, it took off like a rocket. But you know, we had mostly affiliate marketers that were helping us spread the word about us, and then uh, they were the ones that told us, you know, we don't like the word bait in your name. So some people think bait and switch or what have you. So we're like, hmm, we didn't think of that. So we changed the name to Advertising Boost. And that went for a few years. And then we thought, you know what? Nobody nowadays considers ourselves an advertiser. We consider ourselves, we have a marketing department, not an advertising department. And so we eventually bought the name uh, Marketing Boost, which cost us the fortune for the URL. But we bought the URL Marketing Boost, changed the name again, and we haven't, we're not changing it again. But now it's been Marketing Boost for years. And again, it's grown from about a dozen destinations that we offered at the beginning to now 125 destinations. Our hotel savings cards are good at over a million hotels worldwide. And our restaurant vouchers, they're, they're only available in the U.S. and Canada, but they have you know a, a wide uh, spread of availability and usage throughout the U.S. and Canada as well. And, and then we focus on teaching our clients, our members, how to implement them in a myriad of ways to you know, engage clients, build a Facebook group. I mean, you name it. We can keep on talking about those all, all, all night here. Wow. Thank you for that. What, a, what an interesting uh, journey and strategy. It was cool to hear how you, you went along and you, you sort of saw that opportunity and went, hey, let's, let's move into that opportunity and see how we can really grow this. Um, if I can add one more thing, it's, it, 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 it actually came about to solve a problem because when we were growing that travel business at the very start, you know, when you're first, when you're new, you're a startup company and we started to do a lot of volume. Well, guess what? We had some hiccups and we had a few clients that, you know, that were posting negative reviews and, and Google would put them right up on top, you know, and, and we realized we realized that if we're not soliciting reviews, the only ones we're going to get are the negatives. And this is another takeaway for your listeners. If, if you've got to have a strategy to solicit a constant ongoing source of new reviews and testimonials. Otherwise, people naturally, they only feel like writing a review when they're not happy, when they're pissed off. Otherwise, they're like they expected to be happy. So they're not going out of their way to write a review for you. But if you ask them for it, they will give you a review. But you've got to ask it in a way and you've got to be consistent about asking for those reviews in an automated format so that you can generate it at least the test, whether even if they be written or video. The other thing I recommend in today's world, there's so many third party testimonial uh, review sites that what we do is we throttle them. It, we continue to do this today. We do that survey process. And this way, we're if they're if they're thrilled with our services, we're then so we're then sending those people the links to where we need, you know, and we're throttling today for the next you know, week um, or the next 20 uh, clients, we're going to send them over to please post a review on sitejabber.com. The next 20 will go to trustpilot.com. The next 20 to the Better Business Bureau. The next business, you know, whatever is in your in your part of the world, the third-party review sites that people are used to using. That way you're you're spreading out the reviews and Google and the search engines are going to see those. You're, you're getting all these reviews from different third-party review websites and you're going to get those showing up at the top and it's going to help you control your reputation online. And then if you go a step beyond and you ask people to, you know, give you a video review, those you put all over your own website and, uh, you know, nobody's going to watch all of them. And we have now over 30,000 video testimonials from happy travelers. Obviously, nobody's watching all those videos. But when they see, when they start seeing the scrolling down video after video after video, maybe they'll watch one, maybe two, if any. But the fact that they see all those video testimonials listed there, they're, 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 the social proof, the credibility is like, whoa, 
this is for real. And they can go ahead and feel comfortable in buying. Nobody wants to be the first one to jump in the pool. So when it find out if it's cold or not. So <laughs> that way they let so you know, they're seeing this is real and they're ready to do business. So the message to you guys, you know, anybody listening is create a process of just soliciting reviews and throttling the different third party review sites. That way you don't even have to pay for those services. Many of them, they want to charge you to help you book, you know, solicit reviews on Trustpilot, SiteJabber, all that stuff. We don't pay for any of them, but we are th- pr- but we are driving those reviews to all those third-party websites, and they have no choice but to publish them. And so we're, we're keeping, you know, we're building our reputation online and managing it that way. I got a question for you because I've been carefully listening and you are on the market for more than 20 years, right? With Marketing Boost? Well, no, we actually launched Marketing Boost in 2017. But when uh, That's when we first launched that bit, that particular business. But we've been in travel, yeah, since the 19, mid-90s. Sensing your, uh, the energy, yeah, you are, because I have, I have met a lot of people who, who, got a great idea and over time it became more transactional and but with you so what what is it what what keeps your flame burning yeah is it the business is it the interaction with the people or is it also kind of your personality yeah but i, I it might it might be a little bit of, of of the personality mix in there but but i enjoy one i enjoy travel myself so i'm i'm an enthusiast to travel of traveled the world. I uh, haven't been everywhere. I still got a bunch of bucket list places to go. But, uh, but you know, there's nothing more fun to me than travel. The last couple of years with lockdowns has been a, a, a real drag on, on that ability to just feel like I can go anywhere. And, and, and not being able to do that was, uh, you know, devastating to, to the mind, you know, where you can't go anywhere. So that hurt. But uh, so my passion now is it's it's back. I mean, we can we can travel again. We can share. We can, and then what we do is we make it affordable. I mean, we've got so many people that are thrilled with their when you, when you see they, the posts, the video posts that we still solicit, and and they're like, you know, thank you so much. We wouldn't have been able to afford this trip if it wasn't for redeemed vacations and so on. So I get a kick out of the the end users that end up using our travel incentives. And the joy that it gives me that we're helping make travel affordable for people that, in many cases, would never have been able to go any, you know, travel because not every it's not cheap to travel, right? So it can get it can add up for for a lot of people who make a lot of money. It's just yeah, another another cool thing to do, but for other people, it's a it's a real luxury to be able to you know get out of their own community and go stay in a hotel somewhere. We make that affordable so for those people, and we we enjoy that. Two. We help business owners, which is really where I thrive. I love the fact that I've helped many a business owner make, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, you know, a million dollars for a few, half a million over here. I've got several success stories I could share. And our service is so often I think to myself, I should be charging way more than $37 a month when I hear some of the money that some of our clients have made. And uh, I go, whoa, we're, we're too cheap. But at the end of the day, it's we're helping, you know, again, thousands of business owners today around the globe. And we priced it so that we could do exactly that. We have business owners using our service in, in, in India, in the Philippines, Singapore, and uh, the U.S., Australia, et cetera. And rather than having, for example, you know, one price for the U.S., subsidizing the price for small entrepreneurs in India, we just said we'll make it at a price that nearly – any business owner anywhere on the planet could afford, and it'll help us be able to grow globally. So that's been our strategy for the last uh, couple of years. We used to charge actually 197 a month, and we brought it back down to our classic price for the time being of 37 a month, which was what we started with when we launched in 2017. So Corey, I hope that helps uh, answer your question on my passion. Um. I love I love all the tidbits and the advice you gave uh, about the reviews. And I was having a conversation yesterday with someone who put that in and said, "Absolutely, you need to have credibility. You've got to, you know, earn the stripes." And one of the things that he said was, um, "You've got to show not only have, have that social proof, but you've got to show in that social proof consistent results." So in order for people to see you and not see that you're just a one-hit wonder. Um, do you 
I know this is, you know, you're, you're providing the, uh, you know, a solution at that, at that end, but because you were so big in getting the reviews and you understand the need for social proof, what are your thoughts around um, taking that to the next level? Or do you, do, do you, you know, employ similar kind of strategies yourself to try and really drive up that reputation and that trust you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we continue to do that today and uh, continue to solicit those written and video reviews. Uh, we have a format, like I was mentioning earlier, we have that survey format and, a, and an automated format. So one of the things we do with Marketing Boost, we do have a, an upsell product, an upgraded product that's available with Marketing Boost. It's called Automation Booster, which is our, our CRM platform that helps our business owners actually implement this type of idea further where we help them build their sales funnels with uh, with the you know uh, incentives built in so we it's a sales funnel builder it in, includes email text messaging voicemail broadcasting phone system uh, voice over ip all built into one platform it's all the inbound and outbound marketing in one platform so so that they can so that they can easier be able to you know create uh systems of generating leads, following up, nurturing the leads until they become, you know, from prospects to booking appointment to buying your product or service. So whether you use our upgraded product called Automation Booster or not, many, you know, today having a good CRM is very popular. It's very affordable. There's different providers for that all over the world. So whether you use ours or not, you you, you, know, you need to have that in today's world. You need to have a, a CRM platform that automates some of your steps rather than having and what we do is instead of having, you know, constant contact over here for email and text, simple texting over here for that and a different login for everything and they don't communicate. And then you're using some other voice over IP system. We 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 have the all under one hat, which is, again, it's an upgraded product, but not to be presenting that. It's really what I like to talk about. And my passion is about helping entrepreneurs really find ways to to add value versus discounting, which is the, one of the biggest things I find too many business owners do. They find themselves with so many competitors in their space that the temptation is to drop their pants, you know, drop the price. And, um, and then it becomes, you know, you're, 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 you're racing to the bottom with discounting and giving up your, your profits. Many people don't even really do the math and realize a discount of 10% can often mean you've got to nearly double your sales you know, to end up in the same profit margin you had the day before. So you, we really try to teach our members to hold their price high and add value instead and, and do that with their own products or services, their own additional bonuses, their own value add, and, and, then, and then maybe sprinkle in some marketing boost incentives as well to help create that. Uh, one one idea I've got for you, for example, using the marketing boost incentives in today's world, we're all, we're all using these Zoom calls and you know technology like we're on today, where you can have people join a webinar or a Zoom call. And uh, I've got a lot of members that are using these incentives as part of the the customer draw card, part of that that uh, attraction marketing to get people to join the webinar or to get people to book that you know no obligation Zoom call for a consultation. And then for, so we recommend, for example, the hotel savings cards. So you might use a $100 hotel savings card using what I call a micro incentive for a micro call to action. So you might say, hey, book a no obligation appointment. We'll talk for 20 minutes and let's see if we're a good fit. Let's see if, I, if I'm a good solution, if I've got a solution to your product or your problem and whether or not you, you know, we like each other, maybe we can work together. But I know your time is super valuable, so is mine. If you'll show up for that appointment, if you'll book it and show up on time, I'm gonna reward you with a $100 hotel savings card just for the book and the appointment and showing up. That'll help your no-shows, because now you get people booking appointments, but half of them, how many of us have a problem with people book appointments and then they forget and don't show up for the appointment. Now you're sitting around twiddling your thumbs with nobody to talk to for 45 minutes because your calendar was you know, booked with somebody who's supposed to be there. So with the incentive, you can help, help encourage people. All your reminder emails and text messages with automation are going to be reminding them, don't forget, show up for your appointment and I'm rewarding you with a $100 hotel savings card, go to over a million hotels so you can save on your next hotel booking. Uh, show, you know, see you on Tuesday at four o'clock. And then tomorrow, you know, now when they show up, 
now you've got them uh, on your call, your, make your presentation, and now you may throw in a higher perceived value incentive to close the deal. So you might throw in, okay, by the way, I'm running a special promotion. If you do hire us to do this this week, if we come together, you agree on it, and you, um, I've got a few of these bonus trips that I have left. I have a great relationship with this travel partner of ours that I do business with. So if you uh, take action this week, I can throw in a 43 night stay in you name the place. So, you know, that's, that's an example of how a lot of our members are using them to close deals. Uh, I've got people using them as a, as a guarantee. I had an insurance guy. I listened to him the other day. And so he sells insurance and finance. He's a financial advisor and different types of insurance products. And he goes, he'll tell people on his Facebook posts and ads. His guarantee is if he can't find you a better deal, a better value, better price and better uh, insurance product. If you can't find something better, his guarantee is he's going to give you a four day, three night trip to Las Vegas if, if, uh, if he doesn't find a better solution than what you currently have. So no obligation. And, you know, so he's basically using the incentive as kind of a, 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 a I don't know how to put it really, but kind of a negative guarantee. If I can't beat what you currently have, I'm going to send you on vacation. That's how strong I feel about what I'm going to be able to give you. And worst case scenario, he's got to give him a complimentary hotel stay that didn't cost him anything. <laughs> it only cost him the, you know, the monthly fee from Marketing Boost. So it's uh, it's a cool deal there. That's a win-win. That's really a win-win. Yeah, here's a couple of things I can share about this too. You know, we created that win-win-win that I talked about. When we set this up originally, we, we wanted to be totally different than anybody. We're not the first to be in the travel travel incentive business. There's plenty of others that have been around for decades. But when we got in, we decided we were going to revolutionize this industry and totally turn it upside down. And here's some of the things we did different. One, there's never any kind of timeshare presentation or anything like that with our incentives. No, no, no hoops or, or no hoops to jump through to use the incentive. That was the other big thing. Most of our uh, competitors, they actually make these incentives by design, all, nearly impossible to use. They make you, for example, they'll give you, you've got to have a 60 day advance notice uh, for travel. You can need to give us two separate preferred travel dates, 90 days apart, and then they'd get back to you with which what, what they could do for you for one of those two dates. And at, at the end of the day, they're trying to make it complicated. So you essentially uh, don't use it. And in our case, we said, if we're doing this, it's not going to be like that. So one, we're the only one out there with an online platform where the consumer, the end user using the certificate doesn't have to make any phone calls, jump through any hoops, logs into a website after he activates the, he or she activates the certificate. And then they have 18 months to log into a website, plug in their preferred travel dates, see the hotels that are available based on availability, book it, get instant confirmation, instant, you know, uh, instant gratification. So that part of the process is simple. We made it easy for the consumer to use. Two, we made it super affordable for the business owner who's using Marketing Boost at only a, a, a subscription model at 37 a month. And then, of course, the um, we made it a win-win a, a for the resorts as well because they're getting these folks that are staying in the rooms that are up, upgrading room types, booking additional nights, um, sending video testimonials because we're going to solicit those that they can use as well in their marketing efforts. So these are the type of things that it's a win for the resort, a win for the business owner, and a win for the consumer that uses our incentives. You do kind of coaching as well with your customers. I got the feeling helping them to, I mean, it's kind of consulting work in addition to to the subscription to your, to your uh, system. It's a coaching, the do's, the don'ts. So... Are you are you running any TED talks or any webinars? Yeah, so that, that that's a good point. We don't do one on one coaching. You can't afford that for the price that we charge, and and we don't have. We do do this, however. We've got a couple of things. One, we have a Facebook group with twenty eight over twenty eight thousand business owners and entrepreneurs in that Facebook group. It's free, and in that group, we are sharing. You know, uh, we have peer to peer uh, members helping each other. And then we're always in there, our management, our, our, our uh, uh, ambassadors in, in the group are sharing ideas, helping and coaching members on how, because at the beginning, you're like, you're, many business owners are kind of lost. 
not figuring out exactly how they would use these incentives and implement them into their own unique business. Uh, we do uh, provide one-on-one -on -one brainstorming sessions with every, every new member when you join. So you get a free consultation with one of our experts to walk you through and show you examples of, of similar businesses or, or others in your niche and show you how others are using it to give you ideas on how to use the incentives. We, pro we do webinars uh, very often, usually about once a month. Um, I'm getting ready to start my own podcast eventually here so I can be interviewing experts of all sorts to continue to bring uh, ideas to, to our, our entrepreneurs on how to grow their business with and without incentives because there's incentives is only one of the tools. I mean, um, Marketing Boost is not the, the magic bullet that's going to solve every business's you know, problem or, or, or cash flow solutions. But it's a tool. It's one of the tools in the toolbox that any business owner can afford to have. And at the price that we offer it, it's really, it can be used, even if it's only used occasionally in the year, it's worth the, our, our, the investment with Marketing Boost because you can, you can find ways. Let me give you an example of ways to use it, even if it was just occasionally. They can be used to solve customer service problems, customer service errors, mistakes, issues. You have a client... You, somebody on your team dropped the ball. They're not happy with the delivery. You haven't delivered as what you said on time. You're slow at getting accomplishing whatever you promised. Maybe you are delivered the wrong product, wh whatever the, the issue is. Now the client's upset and they want a refund or they want to, they're threatening negative reviews, or disputing their credit card, who knows? And so your customer service team could, you know, obviously first try to solve, you know, you have to solve the problem as best you can. Okay, we can do this. We can do that. We're so sorry we made this mistake. We'll fix it. We'll make it right. And by the way, just for your aggravation, we want to send you a $500 hotel savings card or a complimentary hotel stay on our dime. You know, yes, doesn't cover airfare. It doesn't cover food and beverage or the government fees and taxes, but the hotel portion would be free on us just to make up for this mistake of ours. So I'm going to give you three nights in, you know, Sydney or in Melbourne, what have you, at a, at a hotel and uh, again, just it's just part of our, you know, for for you for the aggravation you've gone through. It's compliments on us. And on top of that, of course, I'm going to fix the problem. Give me a couple of days to do this, do that, do the other, and we'll fix the problem, or we'll refund your money, or whatever we need to do. And on top of that, the bonus is there. Just we want to give you this reward just because because we we know we messed up. And you've taken somebody who's maybe now super upset, turn them into evangelist for your brand, and then go about. Afterwards, maybe soliciting a review anyway, because now you've turned them around, and you take somebody who would have almost would have given you a you know negative review into a positive review, and and buying future products and services from you. So even just using them, like I said, occasionally to solve customer service problems, which we've done you know in the travel space that we've had, and many of our clients have used them for that as well, can be invaluable, you know, and easy to use. I really love that, Marco. And, you know, you, you've been talking about Marketing Boost and, and obviously the product a lot, but you've been explaining it with examples of how this really can help a business to overcome all these issues, how they can stand out from the crowd, how they can improve their customer loyalty, even employee loyalty. You know, you, you've actually been answering a lot of questions, I'm sure, that are in our listeners' minds and Corey's and mine. Um, and demonstrating how this is helping a business to go that extra mile. And this is the Six Star Business Podcast, right, where we talk about what does it take to be Six Star. And that's why you're on the on the show. And, and everything that you've talked about so far has just been enthralling. It's really, really important to every business, every yeah, business. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, you want to you, you, you try to stand out. You want to... Again, you know, what could you do? What can you do to, to wow your client to what's your what we we consider not to brag on ourselves, but we consider what we have is the one of the most powerful customer draw cards on the planet, especially for the price, because I mean, you could be giving away you could be use a, you know, give away an Apple iPad if you want. And of course, you got to pay for that out of your pocket. You know, you've got so we, with our program, we, we make it affordable for you to look like one of the big players on the block to look like a Verizon wireless with a big promo that's offering up, you know, uh, I, I go to PayPal and for all of last year, their PayPal was running a, you know, a, 
a big contest. You know, for every purchase you made or every transaction on PayPal, you had a chance to win a seven, eight trip or whatever it was they were doing. And I go, you know, these are, these are, you know, you've seen these promos before from other big players on the block and, and uh, you know, maybe you're not fresh in your memory, but we've all seen them. And so, and again, so now we make it where a small business owner can do that. And again, we also teach the same process, the similar steps, although you can give them away like candy as a, as a marketing boost member, you can, you can give away unlimited of these incentives. We recommend you don't, you need to make them, you know, uh, hold their perceived value by having scarcity and urgency with these incentives and making people earn them by doing something, you know, having, you know, uh, the, the buy product B to go with product A and get the following bonus. If you're an online retailer, you might, you might create a point system. So, you know, you know, your average ticket, you know, your average uh, order or, or sale is, is, you know, maybe 49, 50 bucks. And you'd like them to be spending a hundred bucks on your website, but they're spending 50. So, you, you know, you may not be able to get them to bump from 50 to hundred overnight. So maybe you create a point system where you say, for every every dollar purchased, you get a point. For every hundred points, you get a chance to win. Or for every hundred, you know, or for every every hundred points, you get, you know, I don't know. Uh, as soon as you get to a thousand points, you're going to get four days and three nights at your choice of one of these destinations. And so you're trying to create, and now you're emailing them when they bought the first product. Now you're emailing and text messaging them. Come back and you know, remember every purchase you spend is gives you more points. And as soon as you get to a thousand points you get rewarded with your choice of three nights in this destination or that. And people are like, wow, I'm going to shop here over shopping it on Amazon. They're buying directly from you now. And and you've got them coming back because you, you've got a reason to invite them back. Don't forget you're 200 points away, you know, from, from earning three nights and such and such and such and such. And you're, you know, again, can you be a little bit creative and uh, implement that into a marketing strategy? And now you you're creating a loyalty or you're, let's say you uh, you do have a, I don't know if I covered this earlier, but you have a, I had a guy who was with a subscription model. Let me tell you this story. He made over $500,000 in four days. Listen to this. He had members paying him $97 a month, hundreds of them, because he has, he started a business actually in January of 2021. By mid, by mid uh, 20, by mid year last year, he had hundreds of people paying him 97 a month for his uh, tips and when to buy and sell stocks and and cryptocurrencies and what have you. He built this huge following on Telegram, which is a, a social media platform. And um, he had a team of, of experts in India that were doing all the an, an analogy of when to buy, when to sell. And people were making money with his tips. And so he would then he found marketing boost and he went back to his audience and he goes, if you upgrade and pay us six months in advance, you have a bonus of a seventh month free. Plus, you get your choice of three nights in Las Vegas or three nights in Orlando. If you pay us for 12 months in advance, you get the 13th month free, his, his own value add. You get the 13th month free plus your choice of six days and five nights in Cancun or five nights in Hawaii. And he had... Over 300 of them step up and pay the, the uh, annual, which was over uh, about $1,100, $1,200 each. And he had about 150 step up and pay the six months, which was $600 or so. And in, co in total, it added up to nearly $500,000 in four days. Now, that became part of his ongoing process. He let people join for 97 a month, let them see the value of his tips and his program and his, uh, his, his service. And then after a few months, he'd offer them to upgrade and get the following bonuses. And, you know, he's now he's just he's part of his process to generate additional cash flow from existing clients. Uh, and that's just, you know, scratching the surface of ideas that, you know, members can do. If you, if you become so popular and so good in what you're doing, I mean, there are a lot of adopters out there who love to jump on a train yeah, which goes full speed. So do you have a serious competition try to, to, to divide and conquer the customer base in a kind of, or are you unique with the way how you do it, the personality which comes in as well? Because in the one hand, it's a kind of transactional thing you do, but 
the 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 joy yeah the excitement i i i hear out of your voice yeah it's at the end of the day that's for us it always comes down to people and relationships regardless of the tool you're using the system how well it's automated digitized whatever it's always the connection with people yeah i agree well we we do have competitors we're, we're not again we're not the only ones on the block doing this uh, they're totally different. No, nobody's nobody's doing it the same way we do, and make you know both a, a digital. Because one of the options that we do as well is the incentive can be delivered digitally via email, via text message, um, and printed. So the the you as the business owner, you can you can print the certificates from your own printer, or you can do what I'd recommend, which is you know, download them to a PDF format and go have them professionally printed. So you can use them at trade shows. You know, you can use them to, again, to to draw attention at a trade show or at a live event. Um, and uh, so we have really no one in our doing, no one's doing it exactly like we do. So we've got that edge. And uh, and then, like you said, it's, it's the, the, we go the extra mile of coaching and training. And uh, if you do, by the way, here's a, another as you had mentioned earlier with the training, if you, as a member, if you step up and pay our annual membership, which we have a, a, a bonus for that as well. So if you pay us for the year in advance, instead of paying monthly at 37, you save up 20%. So we offer it at $347 for the year, but it also includes a, um, a, uh, an eight, a four week, uh, what do we call it? A four week uh, fast cash boot camp course. So it's eight hours of, of uh, deep dive training on how to use these incentives for various niches and examples of from different Marketing Boost members that have uh, have used this very successfully. And we're, we go into you know specifics on how to use these incentives to be successful. So that's included with the annual membership for no additional fee. And of course, we we always we also have that ongoing. Um, training within the Facebook group. And that annual membership also comes with what, what we call our, our birthday connector. It's a new software we've just launched recently. This is really cool. It's a Facebook uh, extension software that allows you to automate so you never forget any one of your contacts' birthdays. So as everybody's birthday comes up every day on your within your contact lists, it's going to automatically send them a, a birthday wish. Um, you know, the day before the birthday, on the birthday, the day after, if you want, you can automatically send them several messages for their birthday, start a conversation with all of your contacts on their birthday. And if you wanted to, you could include a marketing boost incentive as a gift for just, you know, for the birthday. And then again, start a conversation with all of your, your contacts, which could be prospects, depending upon what you do or sell or what have you. And that's that's a bonus with the annual membership. And it's a great idea because it automates the idea of just staying in contact with every friend, family and contacts that you add to your Facebook page. I mean, your Facebook uh, profile. So we that have fun. We have fun over here at Marketing Boost. We have a big team. Um, we have we have staff all over the world. We've got a uh, hundred agents in the Philippines. We've got uh, IT staff in India. We've got a number of IT and 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 managing team in in, in Australia. Actually, we've got um, uh, where else? We've got people in in South America, in the United States. So we're you know that way we can have staff around the clock available for the members that we've got everywhere. We're currently only available in English, so we we don't have uh, multiple languages or currencies. We do have multiple currencies in the hotel savings cards but not the complimentary hotel stays. All of that currently and support is all in English. So that's one of the growth steps that I have. we have planned for the future is to, is to uh, add the service in multiple languages and support. That's, I mean, it'd be easy to translate the website and translate the, the certificates in multiple languages. The problem is supporting that customer support in multiple languages. So that's what we're, that's the goal for the next, you know, Sometime in the future here, we'll get all that organized and start adding multiple language support. Yeah, it sounds great. The um, it sounds like also the, the the toolbox that you've got is is growing and evolving. So you're you're evolving, you know, what you can offer your customers, so that they can, you know, extend their their 
I guess, the way that they can stay connected. And it's, it's interesting, everything that you're talking about, it, it's very, it's transactional, it's, it's incentives, it's the tools, it's the mechanism. Yet this is Six Star Business Podcast and we're humans. So I could hear what Corey was saying before in that some people have come on here and talked and, and said, well, you've got to have a relationship first. In other words, if, you, if you're going into market and there's two competing businesses and one, like, you know, Corey was picking up with your personality, you've got this amazing personality and energy and spark to you. So you're, you've got that as your, almost your draw card and, and the way that you can differentiate yourself. So to your competitor who might not have that personality, so someone's naturally going to want to work with you. Now, if your competitor, who's not like you, says, oh, I've got these incentives, who's, who, who, who's going to get the business? Is it the uh, person a good point. with the personality and, and the, you know, who actually cares about the customer or the other person who just says, here's something of financial value? Where's, do you see what I'm saying? Where's the... Oh, I, yeah. I do, and, and, and thank you for that that compliment of the, my, the personality. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, and I don't know the answer to that because obviously relationship would probably win uh, unless that incentive, the, the incentive might do the trick because, okay, the product, the product is the product depends on the, depends on the consumer, right? The consumer would be, okay, at the end of the day, I'm going to work with this guy only occasionally. I mean, I like his personality, but you know, I probably won't be working hand in hand with them all the time. So they both have the same product. They both have the same service. And this one's giving me a $1,500 value trip to Cancun. Mm, maybe I'll do that Cancun trip. And um, or the, the relationship might win. Um, and in this in a scenario like that, I wouldn't be surprised if the relationship won. So you'd, you'd need to, you know, obviously adding your own, your, your team, having the right players on your team, having the right, building the right sales staff, customer support, you know, wherever, wherever your, 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 your organizations, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, building that six star, six star team means you have to have a, a, a community and everybody on the same page of what, what the company goal is. And what type of service you intend to, you're going to, you're attempting to provide and keeping the, you know, one bad apple can begin to ruin the, the ecology or what's the trying to find the right word for you here. Try, one bad apple in the team can begin to ruin the community, you know, the, 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 the whole team. So sometimes you need to know when to cut somebody loose too, you know, and mm -hmm. not feel bad about it because if they're not right for the team, they're going to eventually bring everybody down. So, Yeah. I mean, while you're mentioning that, how about your customer retention rates? Because that's always a very good indicator how successful you are in running a business, offering services, products. A lot of a lot of companies struggling with that. Yeah, because you get to a stage where, as I said, you have a product, you have adapters, they offer something, literally same quality, whatever. But price wise, they are uh, cheaper. Because yeah, retention. Well, in, in our case, um, yeah, retention is very important. And again, these these incentives can be used in formats to help create that in, that that retention by having creating a loyalty program, rewards program. You know, based on your anniversary. So, for example, one of the these the the complimentary hotel stays, for example, the free trips. They can only be given to a client once a year maximum. So they can't be used over and over. The hotels don't want to be a part of a free trip travel club. So they they don't want the same people coming back over and over. So they've got a you know rule of once a year and they can only use the same destination once in a lifetime. So if they went to Sydney this year, next year they gotta to go to, you know, Brisbane or whatever, some other destination. Um, what else? They can uh, uh, but in our case, if you, I think if you were asking how, what is our retention rate, I can tell you this: we have, uh, we haven't advertised, uh, we haven't spent a dollar in advertising since April of 2020, and even through COVID and through uh, all of last year and this year, we continue to grow. 
uh, without by you know the word of mouth and by podcast shows that I'm on and and other um, uh, other outlets. But we're growing from word of mouth essentially without without advertising. And so our advertised spend, well, we have a little bit of a spend on Facebook, but I mean, our company is a whole for our travel. We spent over $70 million on Facebook ads alone over the last 10 years. But for marketing boost, it's been a, a we're spending 900 a month. So, I mean, it's like, it's not even a, a, a it's a, 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 you know, just boom, just tiny little bit out there. And the only thing we do in, with, the only thing we spend money on, 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 on uh, Facebook, for example, for marketing boost, is to drive people to join the Facebook group. And then from there, we're introducing them to Marketing Boost and so on. So we haven't had to spend money in marketing there and it continues to grow. So I guess that might answer you a little bit about how we don't have, even through COVID, we did lose a lot of members during COVID that they were like, oh, shoot, no one's going to want these travel incentives. And so we probably lost about 30%. And because um, people of our members, because they thought the incentives wouldn't work. Those that stuck with us, though, they found out that, People knew eventually this COVID thing would go away. So they did, because consumers were still activating those certificates. They still wanted to travel when this was over. And of course, they weren't traveling during COVID, but we extended the time. So instead of 18 months during COVID, we gave, we gave everybody 24 months to use the certificate. And so right away, you know, at the end of last year, we had a record number of people through them, you know, from mid, mid uh, last year forward, record number of people using these incentives around the world. Uh, this year is unbelievable. I, I call it revenge travel. I mean, people are, are full throttle. <laughs> they are ready to get back and travel, ready to go somewhere. And, um, and we're actually getting ready now with a, with a new strategy. And so we're going to go back to spending marketing dollars again. And this time we're going to go after affiliate marketers. So we're going to spend money specifically looking for affiliate marketers because we have an affiliate plan, by the way, that pays 40%. So if you're an affiliate marketer listening, if you, you know, as you share this marketing boost story with other business owners, we pay 40% of uh, ongoing residual income of, of their monthly uh, service fee or their annual fee. So that can add up. And we've got, you know, uh, uh, we pay, we currently have about 9,000 affiliate marketers using that promote us, which is why we don't have to advertise, but we want to grow that affiliate marketing group. So we're going to go back to advertising to specifically to find affiliates because the business owners are finding us through the affiliate marketers, through word of mouth, through uh, the podcast shows. I do about two or three podcast shows a day. Uh, so I enjoy telling the story of marketing boost out there on, on different to different audiences and uh, it's well accepted. It's fabulous. Thank you. It's uh, it's 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 great to hear that, and I love it. I love we all love a good story, uh, of course, and especially through COVID, where so many people have have suffered, and uh, it's great that people can get out and enjoy travel again. Um, this has been such an interesting conversation because, as you like, I said earlier, as you've talked about marketing boost, you're actually giving our listeners and giving us ways to rethink how we how we treat our customers and even our our employees and you mentioned earlier on something about value versus discounting and i'm just wondering if you could talk about that a little bit and give some nuggets of wisdom to our listeners around yeah what adding what value versus that, yeah. Disc discounting yeah absolutely so Studies have been have been uh, have been done around the world that prove that many consumers, most consumers, re re respond better to additional value add versus discounting. So you'll see something at ten percent off, yeah, whatever. But if you see buy one get one, you know you are whoa, what, what, what is? And then it, it ends up turning into a a and I, I the grocery stores where I live. Grocery stores in Florida, as you go in them, right at the entrance, the, many of them have like these huge baskets of, of, of buy one, get one stuff. And then as you walk through the aisles of the grocery store, you'll see, you know, special offers, buy one, get one. And you, when you really analyze it, and I have, um, most of them are practically doubling the price. Most of the offers, the day before they put it on BOGO, it was, you know, one can for two ninety five. 
Today, the, the next day, it's a BOGO offer, and it's two cans for you know for five seventy five. So they maybe they discounted the price a little bit, but it's not, it's almost six dollars for the two cans. You know, five seventy five, five eighty nine, and you get you know buy one get one. And but you find you know, and you watch people, which I do. I study marketing. I study. I like to study. And this is another tip, by the way. Many of us are annoyed by advertisers. We're annoyed by by you know spam emails. We're annoyed by TV commercials. We're annoyed by by ads. If you if you own a business, stop being annoyed. Start studying your all of these industries. Study marketing that doesn't have anything to do with your product or service. You can learn more from uh, an entirely different industry on what they're doing that's that's successful. And you might be able to grab some ideas from their sales funnel, from their website, from their from their ad campaign that goes, whoa, I'll bet, you know, if that's working, if it caught your eye, it might be working. And if you follow the process, you know, and I even recommend buying stuff you don't even need from those ads that that grabbed your attention as an investment in 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 dissecting what they're doing in marketing and dissecting their process dissecting their flow dissecting the emails that you received from them bef- you know before after you know before during and after the sale so that you're learning from ma- potentially you know experts and and you can and, and on facebook you can actually see there's a transparency section on a facebook campaign a Facebook company, and you can go see how many ads they're running. And if they're running a lot of ads consistently, then you know they're they're obviously turning a profit from that campaign. So you can you know study them. Maybe again, click buy, go through the process. But we were talking about value add, and so what I mean by that is uh, add value potentially of your own product in addition to over and above what you might be able to do with marketing boost. Come up with value add of your own. So that could be, for example, I think I mentioned earlier, uh, if you have a subscription program, throw in this seventh month free with a six month purchase. Uh, if you have a, if you're a financial advisor, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, it really depends on everybody's. Maybe you're, you know, you have physical products on the shelf that haven't been selling for a while. So rather than let that inventory just take, you know, get dusty on the shelf, Move it with a, a, a buy one, get one program. Hey, you know, buy this product for me today. Raise the price a little bit maybe to help cover the cost on the on the one you're going to throw in like, like the grocery stores do and say, you know, buy this product today. Get this product free. Get this product as a bonus added value. And and you're you're throwing that second product in. Maybe it's a course you wrote last year. So you get, buy course A, you get course B with it free. You wrote it. You wrote it months ago. That was your big promo, you know, six months ago. Now you got a new promo and a new course. What does it cost you to throw that in as an added value when they buy your course A, you get course B with it free, for example. So obviously with every business, adding that value can, uh, uh, and maybe you do it with some products. Again, it's you've got to have that customer draw card. What is it? You know, if you're if you're a restaurant, it might be, you know, buy one entree, get the second entree, you know, uh, at, at 50% off for a while. Obviously, you're, you, those discounts can cost you money. So you need to be careful. Maybe you, you want to do that with an appetizer, do that with the cocktails that don't cost you that much. So uh, this is not news to anybody, but but a lot of people just stop doing it. They just get going with the daily routine and they'll, they're will they not realizing people do respond to ongoing promotions. So you've got to keep doing it. You've got to keep doing the program. Keep it exciting. Keep it interesting, and have these promotions. And that that and then that's where you can add the additional value of using marketing boost to make it fun, make it interesting. So let's say you were a restaurant. And you're doing a promo, and um, you know you're saying you know obviously happy hour, buy one get one free, right? At the, you know at the bar. But now when they're in the bar, you might be saying, you know, that when they're there, it might be. Hey, if you, you know, table tents all over the restaurant, the bar, spend a minimum of $100 tonight in the restaurant and get entered to win six day, five night trip to whatever, you know, instead of making it sound like we've, we've got these like candy to hand away, you're doing a promo, which is, you know, enter to win. And by the way, in order to enter to win, we need you to click on this thing here and enter your name, phone number and email. So now you're capturing the information. You're building a database so you can buy them to next Friday night's special promotion. And you're building a database. You're capturing leads. And you're using 
your own value add and maybe throw, using one of our incentives to create a contest to create some excitement. And as I mentioned earlier, sprinkle these things into your business process. They don't necessarily need to be every day you're giving away a free chip. Is, it begins to be, um, you know, potentially lose its value. So sprinkle them in, run them as a contest every now and then, use different destinations. Uh, but your own stuff as well. I mean, you got to make it relevant to whatever it is, your product or services. What can you create of your own product or services that you can that you can add value with uh, versus just discounting. And then of course, I still recommend, obviously plug in my own business, something similar, if, if not marketing boost, something similar. And, and that could be hard, you know, that could be, you know, enter to win uh, a laptop, enter to win. So you, you, you know, you, maybe you do buy a, a, an Apple iPad once a month or w once every six months and you're, you know, you, you create contests, you know, you can win the Apple iPad, you can win this and stuff that may cost you hard dollars. But it, it if, if that's what's working to be part of your draw card, plus a, plus the hotel savings card and a complimentary trip, those things, they, they honestly, they still work. I see them used every day with businesses all over the world. So thanks for that, Marco. Um, I'm conscious of the time we're kind of coming down to the to the why here. I'm You've given us a lot of tips already, but I'm wondering, is there some some little nugget that you'd like to leave our listeners with to take away and process? Sure. The one, one mistake I think too many business owners make, and it has nothing to do with incentives or anything else. One mistake I think too many of us entrepreneurs make early on, especially when we are, you know, in the startup process, um, we, we tend to want to do everything ourselves. We tend to want to be the master of everything. We tend to want to be control freaks and say, well, nobody's going to put the same effort in it as I can. So I'll do it. I'll do it. You know, and you want to save money. So you say, well, I'll build the sales funnel myself or I'll do. There's only so much you can do in a day. And there's only if you're thinking small, if you think small and you don't, you need to, the end of the day, you need to outsource. You need to hire people that are better, smarter than you at different at, at areas of the business that you're not. Uh, if you're not a good bookkeeper, get the bookkeeper. If you're, you know, build a team and outsource it. In today's world, it's so easy to find people from all over around the world on Fiverr or other outlets to find resources of people that are can be incredible and also incredibly affordable, and that you can bring on your team. And anything that you do over and over. Anything you do over and over every day, you need to turn that into a business process that you can outsource to somebody else so that you can keep working for the business, not in the business, so that you can you can manage it from 30,000 feet above and you can see the big picture and you can be on to the next big thing versus just working in your business, taking care of all the details and being stuck. That's gold. Spoken from an, a... a seasoned business owner who's got a team and people all over the world and you're probably looking forward to that next little holiday where you can let go and the business will continue to run right yeah i'm planning on heading to spain here soon we're just trying to figure out the, the dates so that'll be our next trip nice nice thank you corey have you got any last words or questions for marco no he just made me curious to get on the marketing boost side to have a look <laughs> <laughs> marketing marketingboost.com can i plug an offer for your listeners oh please yes so here's our call to action if you go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast uh you can get 30 days of marketing boost for one dollar one us dollar uh so 30 days of marketing boost for one dollar at marketingboost.com forward slash podcast and depending upon where you are in the world i recommend you give yourself a trip to cancun mexico I forgot to mention this. We have some incredible new resorts that came on recently in Cancun that are AAA, four diamond resorts. They're just fabulous. Beachfront, 15 restaurants and bars. So give yourself a trip. Use it first. We do recommend people give yourself a trip. Check it out yourself and become an evangelist for the brand. And then you'll be one of those members that are being turned into an affiliate as well and earn 40% every time you refer us to it, somebody else. Beautiful. So it. if I'm... If I'm not around next week or the week after, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> I got a final one. So what I said okay. about competition, 
forget it. Nobody can copy paste what you do. So no. <laughs> easy. Thank, Thank you. Corey. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Marco. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Evelyn.